Hi guys, it's your girl, Dr. Yeti. Welcome back to my channel, The Bomb Bomb V, aka The Good Good Life. Today, guys, I got my robe on. I'm using my phone. I'm ready to go to bed very soon, but I just wanted to give you guys this message. Um, We have Christmas coming up, and I know a lot of you might feel like you haven't accomplished the things that you want to accomplish. You might feel lost you might feel like your prayers aren't being heard you might feel like things aren't going the way that you planned i promise you god heard your prayers god is working on your prayers you just don't see it the things that you're going through right now they are meant for you to be the best version of yourself and you just don't know yet Romans 8.28 says, all good things work for those who love God and who are called according to, according to his purpose. You love God. Nothing but goodness is coming your way. The only way that you're going to experience these goodness is if you persevere and you have that faith. Because everything works itself out. You're not alive today if God doesn't need you anymore. God needs you. God is using you still. God has a purpose for you. That is why you are still alive today. So he has a use for you. What you're praying for is happening. God answers all your prayers. So when you think about it and you ask God and say, God, can you remove this person from my life? They don't deserve to be in it. Do, can you remove people from my life that don't deserve to be in it? Can you remove people that are going to push me away from you? God does not hesitate. It could be your loved one. It could be your favorite person in the world. God will remove that person within a week. Because you prayed that prayer and it was nothing. It was a very basic prayer. It wasn't much to it. The only thing that's going to be affected is your feelings. You're hurt because you... You had people that you cared about that were removed from your life. But now you're asking God for something major, for a life change, something that would require a lot. God could give it to you and just say, hey, you know what, you pray for it, here you can have it. How would you be able to manage it if you haven't gone through what you're going through right now? You will not be able to handle it if you have not experienced the things you're experiencing right now. You're asking God for a successful career or a successful business or to be financially stable, but you don't even know how to manage the things that could cause you fear because your anxiety right now. You're asking for major blessings, but you don't know how to handle the minor situations because to you right now, it's major. It's so big. But when you get those blessings that you pray for, you're going to look back on it and you're going to say, wow. That was very minor. It wasn't even that big of a deal. I over-exaggerated. Because you've never experienced this before. This is a new experience for you. This is a brand new experience for you. So you don't know what you're going through. You don't know how to handle it. You don't know how to deal with it. But guess what? Once you've gone through it, once you've overcome, you have that on your resume. You have that like, yeah, I've gone through that. So if you were to go through it again, you know how to manage it. You know how to handle it because you've experienced it already. Think about if you had a job interview and the interview asked you, and the interviewer asked you, hey, like situational questions. How would you handle the situation if? What would you do if? Have you been through this? You can make it up, come up with lies come up with whatever answer you think you will be the right answer or you won't even have to think much about it you've experienced it already now you have the perfect answer for that scenario because you've experienced it already that's something you have under your belt that's something that you can put pull out of your resume and say yes i've experienced this before let's talk about it that is how life is you're going through these things so that you can use it to propel you to get to where you need to be in the future. Right now, it doesn't make any sense. Right now, in, in your mind, is like, what is going on? Why is this happening? All I ask you, God, is for you to do this for me. Why do I have to go through all of this? 
what is going on? I promise you by the end of it all, it's going to make sense to you. You're going to say, wow, now I understand why I had to go through that. Now I get it. Let me give you guys a good example. Let me give you a good story. When I was in school, I was running for this position and it was a president of an organization and it was a major organization at the time. And I didn't care to run for this organization, but people asked me to run for it because they would vote for me. They thought I was a great candidate to run for this position. So I decided to run. I ended up not even making the first round and I was upset. I was like, why would these people ask me to run for this if they weren't gonna vote for me? Why is this happening? I was upset because I didn't care for that position until they told me to do it. And now I was so invested in, in it that I was excited to win and I didn't even make the first round. But something inside of me told me, this experience is going to be major. You're gonna learn from it. I didn't know what it was I needed to learn from it, but something told me that you're going to experience something outside of it. You're gonna understand why you had to go through what you went through. Fast forward towards the end of the year and the president became one of my friends at the time. He ended up being a friend of mine. And the amount of responsibility it took to be the president of that position, I knew I couldn't deal with. I knew I couldn't handle. I knew I couldn't even do half of what that guy did because I was going to either fill my classes or mess up that organization. And I was so grateful because I was like, wow, that could have been me. I could have... I would not have been able to handle it the way this person was. Fast forward towards the end of the year, this guy ended up failing one of a major classes that held him back a whole year because of this organization, because of the amount of work and the amount of passion he had for the organization. He was a great guy, but it took away from all the work that he was supposed to put in into his uh, classes it took away from the his his attention it took all that away from him and i was like that could have been me that could have been me i ended up getting a smaller position in there and i was able to learn leadership skills it, i gained a lot of experience working in that organization and working really close to the president that I was even able to understand the amount of work it took to be a president. I gained some skills through that. I gained some experiences through that. But I didn't have to be the president to learn that. I didn't have to be the president to gain those experiences. And I had to realize, wow, there was a reason why I didn't win this. I get it now. I understand why I didn't win this position. It wasn't meant for me. It wasn't, it, that position was not meant for me. It wasn't. So I want you guys to understand right now. You're not going to understand it right now. You will not understand it right now. But when the time comes, it will all make sense. It will all make sense. God knows what he's doing. God sees the beginning and the end. He knows everything, how it's all going to play out. He knows it. That doesn't take away from your free will or anything. Your free will is still there. You're free to do what you want to do. But God knows the decision you're going to make before you make it. God knows the outcome of everything before it happens. So trust me when I tell you that everything is working out for your benefit. You're going to overcome this. Everything will work itself out. Okay? Time means nothing to God. Stop putting time restraints on yourself. I need to get here by this time. I need to be here by next year. I need to be here by... That's not what you should be thinking about. You should be thinking about the experiences that you're going through right now. What can you learn from it? What are you going to gain from it? How is that going to help you in the future? How is that going to help you build yourself? Build the kingdom of God. Think about that. 
you are these experiences like I, i've made a video about this before and i'm gonna make this video again you don't go through something unless there's a barrier you're not just going through anything there has to be a barrier for you to go through you make it out of that barrier at the end of that barrier you come out stronger than you were before because you had to push through to get to the other side you worked you res you were resilient whether or not you have faith you still made it and guess what you became stronger at the end so the only thing you can do is have faith the only thing you can do is have faith if you feel like you're at the very bottom guess what there's nowhere else to go but up if you are at the very bottom, guess what? There's nowhere else to go but up. God will take you there. I promise you everything will work itself out. I promise. It always does. It always does. Just ask God, what do you need to learn from this experience? What did you need to gain from it? So this cycle does not repeat itself because things will keep repeating over and over and over and over again until you've learned from it. And if you don't learn from it, you're going to keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again. So the only thing you can do right now is ask God to deliver you from this. Ask God to show you what you need to gain from this experience, what you need to learn from it. How you can use it to improve your life in the future. And when the time comes, it'll all make sense. Okay, guys? Thanks, you guys, so much for watching, okay? I want you to know that it's not over yet. It's not over yet. You're still here for a reason. God still has work to do on you. He's shaping you, your mindset, and your environment just so it can fit. And that prayer becomes answered. And you don't lose the blessings that he has for you. So that those blessings that you prayed for, they're still there. Those blessings are still there. You don't have to feel like, oh, these blessings are overwhelming. What do I do with it? You lose it all. Because you did not go through what God is putting you through right now. So you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad you made, this, made it this far. And I, I, I want you to know that I love you and God loves you. Okay, you guys? Bye. Love you.